All right, this region's chemistry video is about pH. So what pH is, is a measure of how acidic or basic a substance is. So if we have two acids, uh, two different acids, they might not be the same strength, which means uh, we talked about this, this Brownstead-Lowry definition of the acid, right? The acid is a proton donor, right? So acids donate protons. So if we have two different acids, well, maybe one of them is stronger. Maybe it donates protons better than the other acid. That would make it more acidic. So how do we kind of compare uh, which acids are more uh, more likely to donate their protons or more effective in donating their protons than others? Well, this is what pH can kind of tell us. It's a scale where we can kind of measure the acidity of a substance. So what it is, it's a measure of the concentration of H plus ions in a solution. So if an acid is really good at at donating those protons, it's going to dissociate really well, that would make it a really strong acid. So on the pH scale, if something has a high concentration of H plus ions, that's going to give it a low pH, which is going to make it more acidic. And then if something has a low concentration of H plus ions, it's, it's giving it a high pH, which is more basic, because if we have a low concentration of H plus ions, that's going to make something far less acidic and more likely to be basic. And if we have a high concentration of H plus ions, remember that's kind of what makes something an acid based on this Bronsted-Lowry definition is how well does it donate its H plus ions. So if it has a high concentration of H plus, that's a low pH. So it's very important here to note that this is kind of an inverse, well it's not kind of, it is an inverse relationship here between the H plus concentration and the pH. So the higher the H plus concentration, the lower your pH. So the cutoff pH between acids and bases is 7. So 7 is where we would be called pH neutral. So this would be something that is neither acidic nor basic. It's exactly neutral. That would be what a pH of 7 means. And then this pH scale ranges from 0 up to 14. And again, with 7 being the midway point where we would be neither acidic or basic. So we said that a low pH would be acidic. So if something is below that cutoff point of 7, that would make it acidic. So anything from 0 up to 7, but not including 7, would be acidic. And anything higher than 7, up to 14, would be basic. So if it's above 7, it's basic. If it's below 7, it's acidic. So how do we calculate pH on this scale? Well, we're going to use the concentration of the H plus ions. So the formula here is pH equals negative log of the H plus ion concentration. So if we know the concentration of H+, we know the, con we know the pH just by using this formula. So pH, you can kind of tell here, is measured on a log scale. So what that means is that for every one unit decrease in the pH, the H plus concentration increases tenfold. So it's not a, a direct one-to-one -one relationship. It's, a, it's on a log scale here. So we have a tenfold increase in the H plus, giving us a one unit decrease in the pH. And so you notice here, this is also an inverse relationship because we have an, a decrease in pH, like we were saying, increases the H plus concentration. So that's kind of why we have this, well, it's why we have this negative sign here is because uh, to make to account for that inverse relationship between pH and the H plus concentration. So uh, on the counter side here we have uh, if we know the pH we also know the H plus concentration by basically doing the opposite of this formula. So if we take this formula pH equals negative log of the H plus ion concentration and we want to solve this for H plus we would just uh, have to get rid of this log, right? So we got this negative sign here, we'll get rid of that first. If we multiply both sides by negative one, that would give us negative pH equals log of H plus. So then to solve for H plus, we want to get rid of this log. So log, log is an exponential function, the, the inverse of an exponential function. So logs, remember if we don't see a number here, is base 10. So to get rid of uh, this log, what we want to do is 10 to the power of both sides of this equation. So we can kind of put a 10 down here and raise both, uh, raise 10 to both sides of this equation. So 10 and log base 10 are going to cancel each other out. So we get 10 to the negative pH equals the H plus concentration. So that kind of matches up with this formula here and that's how we came up with that. So this formula here, H plus concentration equals 10 to the negative pH. So if you have the pH, this is how you will calculate the H plus concentration. If you have the H plus concentration, this is how you will calculate the pH. So whenever you know one, you know the other.
All right, so let's take a look at a couple of examples here calculating pH. We have what is the pH of a substance that has an H plus concentration of 0 0.05 molar? And is this substance acidic or basic? So right off the bat, we're just going to use the pH formula. So pH equals negative log of the H plus ion concentration. So we know the H plus concentration here is 0 0.05. So we go pH equals negative log of 0 0.05. So then you can just plug that straight into your calculator and this will give you a pH of 1.30. So if you know this formula, calculating pH, very simple. Uh, so again, we just plug in the H plus concentration into this formula and we get the pH. It should be a very straightforward equation. Just make sure you include this negative sign on your calculator. Uh, if you get a negative pH, uh, realistically, technically based on this equation if you have a really strong acid like let's say an acid that was 10 molar if we did negative log of 10 molar that would give us actually a negative pH uh, so uh, pH scale has its limitations uh, but we technically define it from 0 to 14 but it is possible to have a negative pH uh, based on this calculate based on the calculations in this formula if you have a really really concentrated acid uh, you won't really have to worry about that. Uh, you won't see that on the regions. So just know uh, we'll do negative log of the H plus concentration to get the pH. All right, so what is the pH of a substance that has an H plus concentration of 4.3 times 10 to the negative 12? So we can already tell this is a lot lower number. So this is probably going to be something basic. Uh, on the last question, sorry, I didn't, uh, we didn't say whether that was acidic or basic, but because we got a pH of 1.3. 1.3 would be a pH that's below 7, so this would be acidic. So again, anything that's less than 7 is an acidic pH. So because we were less than 7, that means we were acidic. Alright, so we've got, uh, like we said, a lot lower concentration here of the H plus ion, so this, this could be something that is more likely to be basic. Uh, you really want to just calculate the pH and and uh, decide based on that whether it's higher or lower than 7, but you can kind of guesstimate, well, this is a really, really low number here, so we don't have much H+. Plus. We're pretty likely to be basic here. So either way, we're going to use the same pH formula here, pH equals negative log of the H plus concentration. So we've got the H plus concentration here. We're going to plug this in. We've got negative log of 4.3 times 10 to the negative 12th, and that's going to give us the pH. So you just plug this in your calculator. Make sure that you use parentheses here with this scientific notation to avoid any calculator errors here. And this is going to give you a pH of 11.37, we'll say. So 11.37 for the pH here, just again by plugging into that pH formula, negative log of the H plus concentration. So is this substance acidic or basic? Well, our pH scale, we said, went from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral. So we're above 7 here. This is going to be basic, because anything above 7 is going to be basic. All right, so the last question here. If we've got a pH of 9.1, what is the concentration of H plus ion? So this is where we're using kind of the backwards uh, version of the pH formula. So uh, if you remember the formula, it's 10 to the negative pH gives us the H plus concentration. So we have the pH here. All we have to do is plug in 10 to the negative pH equals, or excuse me, <laughs> didn't actually plug in there. So 10 to the negative 9.1 equals the H plus concentration. So then you want to just plug this into your calculator, 10, uh, you can use that caret button, 10 to the negative 9.1, and that'll give us the H plus concentration. So if we do that out, we get H plus concentration equals 7.94 times 10 to the negative 10th. And what units would this be? Well, our units for concentration are going to be molar. So uh, you may have noticed, actually, I didn't really mention this, but uh, pH is unitless. So we had a pH of 1.3 in the first question. We just call it 1.3. pH doesn't have any units. You don't say 1.3 pH or anything like that. You just say the pH is 1.3. Uh, so again, no units for pH. But the concentration, like we've talked about many times, the units for concentration is molarity. So that's what we're going to label this H plus concentration with. 
So is this substance acidic or basic? We didn't have, even have to do this uh, to know because we've got the pH up here of 9.1. So being that that 9.1 is greater than seven, that's gonna make it basic. So we've got a basic solution here with a very small, small H plus concentration. And that's about it. So I hope this video was helpful on figuring out how to use pH in terms of acids and bases. I'll see you in the next video.